Hi, I'm Dr. Akash, and I've come back after a very long time. I was busy in my COVID duty. So, heat bags or ice packs, one of the most controversial topics, one of the paramount topics which people are always confused about, which to use when. I will tell you which to use when. Heat bags versus ice packs. Let's get started. So, ice packs. Now, ice packs are a wonderful thing if you use them correctly. So, when should ice packs be used? In any cases of an acute injury or a sudden injury when there is swelling, like probably an ankle sprain, probably a catch at the back while lifting something heavy, and probably when you fall down from stairs or you injure any part of your body, the initial swelling is cured by these ice packs. Ice packs should always be used for 48 to 72 hours after the injury. Now, what actually the ice packs do? They do two things. First of all, they decrease the pain by causing numbness at the injury site. What happens is there is this term called vasoconstriction of the blood vessels, wherein your blood vessels constrict. So there is a numbness, there's a numbing effect in your affected body part. So one, it causes numbness and thus decreases the pain. The second thing which, is the, uh, which it does is it reduces the swelling, inflammation at that area. So ice packs can be used when uh, you have injuries, acute injuries, or they can also be used after your exercises. When you have that uh, uh, fatigue or some kind of a, a discomfort, ice packs are a good thing some do's and don'ts initial injuries 48 to 72 hours you have to use ice packs they reduce your swelling they reduce your pain but always remember that ice packs should not be used directly over the skin so basically you have to have a towel you have to have a soft cloth between your affected part and the ice pack you should not use it for more than 20 minutes because what happens is that after that 20 minutes it starts to cause discomfort and uh, the reverse effect starts. Now that's a big long story, but it should not be used for more than 20 minutes. You can use it for three to four times a day. Once the swelling subsides, once the pain subsides, you can stop using it. And one more thing we're looking at is that ice packs should not be used in cases of a peripheral nerve disease, probably diabetes or open wounds or ulcers. They should not be used that time. So I feel we know that ice packs should be used for any acute injuries and uh, post-workout or post-fitness or post-sports stress, fatigue. That's about it for ice packs. Heat bags. So people ask me when to use a heat bag. So I'll tell you when to use a heat bag. So heat bags are basically used for chronic cases like chronic stiffness, chronic back pain, or uh, if there is an arthritic joint. So in these cases, what happens is that due, due to long-standing chronic cases, the blood flow to that particular uh, part decreases and hence the stiffness increases. So what happens is a hot bag basically causes vasodilatation. It increases the blood flow to that particular surface. So in these cases, what happens is when you apply a hot bag, there is blood flow going throughout the entire affected part. So the muscle stiffness goes away because there is continuous supply of blood right there. So hot bags should actually be used in cases of long-standing chronic backache or stiffness, long-standing stiffness or arthritic uh, pain or arthritic joint pain or something like that. Also, hot bags can also be used before workout or before playing sports. 
so what happens is it gets your blood flow going and uh, that is how your heart rate increases your muscles start contracting well so hot bags are a good option before a workout i feel this is about it for hot bags but i would also want to mention that hot bags should not be used in open wounds or open injuries where there's bleeding and all hot bags should not be used that time plus hot bags should also not be used in peripheral diseases such as some ulcers or diabetes or gout or all of these things hot bags should be avoided apply it on the affected part for 20 minutes not more than that because what happens is after 20 minutes the effect starts going and you suddenly uh, you can have bleeding issues or you can have excessive contraction of the muscles or all of these issues so hot bags should be used in chronic cases now another very important and an interesting topic which is contrast bath or contrast therapy now many patients ask me that doctor is contrast bath or contrast therapy useful well many researchers and many papers say that it is useful now i'll tell you the science behind it what happens is there is this term called vasoconstriction and vasodilatation so as i already mentioned the hot fermentation it increases your circulation and the cold fermentation decreases your circulation so in cases of a hot bath or a hot therapy there is vasodilatation and in a cold therapy there is vasoconstriction so what happens is in a contrast bath when you dip your uh, affected part or body in hot and cold water alternatively it creates a circulatory system a pumping action so what happens is when hot water there is vasodilatation cold water vasoconstriction so that pumping effect it really helps you in probably treating soreness or post exercise fatigue so now i'll tell you how to do it so first we'll look at the temperatures so hot water should be around 95 to 100 110 fahrenheit and cold water should be around 50 to 59 degrees fahrenheit now these are the temperatures now the method so first always hot water immerse your affected body part or your entire body in hot water for 1 minute followed by immediately immersing it in cold water for another 1 to 2 minutes not more than that repeat these things at least for 20 minutes and probably twice a day it will definitely help you decrease the soreness the post uh, workout or post uh, sports fatigue and many other things contrast bath is definitely on so with a uh, consulting a lot of physiotherapists and a physical therapist and a lot of people a lot of doctors as well we've come to a conclusion that um, hot water and cold water should be used very meticulously and these also should be used very cautiously so any other doubts any other queries are always welcome and also i would like to tell you that um, i'm really sorry that i couldn't make like videos like my videos won't coming up so this time it will be a little regular thank you so much